Hey everyone, in this video we're going to integrate Jenkins with Slack so that we can send notifications to a Slack channel whenever a build starts, succeeds or fails. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to install the Slack notifications plugin into our Jenkins installation. So we're going to go to Manage Jenkins, Manage Plugins, go to the tab Available, and now we can search for Slack notification plugin. There you go. I'm going to click install and I'm going to say install without a restart. So that's it. The Slack plugin has been installed into our Jenkins installation. And if I now go to manage Jenkins and I go to configure system, you will see that there are now two Slack sections in our settings page. So I'm going to scroll down. And here is the first one, it's called Slack Webhook Settings, but this is not the one we're interested in. Keep scrolling down until you see the Global Slack Notifier Settings. Here you have to fill in your team subdomain and an integration token. Now to make this work, we need to open up Slack and generate a new token for our Jenkins installation so that it can push notifications to our Slack channels. So let's do that right now. I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to go to the Slack website and I'm going to open up my own team here. Now I want Jenkins to push notifications about my builds to a separate channel on Slack. So I'm going to create that channel first. I'm going to say create channel and I'm going to call this channel builds. And I'm going to give it a purpose, Jenkins notifications for our builds. There we go. And I'm going to hit create channel. So right now we have our channel. The next thing that we need to do is we need to give Jenkins permissions to push new notifications to this channel. So to do this, we're going to go to this wrench icon here and we're going to say add an app or integration. This will open up the Slack app directory where we can install a lot of custom integrations. We're interested in the integration for Jenkins, so we're going to search for it. I'm going to search for Jenkins and there you have it, Jenkins CI. I'm going to click on this and we're going to say add configuration. Now what we want to do is we want to give our Jenkins the rights to just one specific channel and here we can pick to which channel we want to give Jenkins access. So I'm going to say the builds channel and I'm going to click on add Jenkins CI integration. Now Slack just notified us that the integration has been added and now they also give us some setup instructions. Now I'm going to show you how to add these things, but just scroll down till you see step three and here you will see the team domain and the integration token. This is what we need to configure the plugin. So here I'm going to copy my team domain and I'm going to go back to Jenkins and I'll paste the team domain name in team subdomain. Now I'm going to go back to Slack and I'm also going to copy the integration token that they've generated for me and paste it in the integration token field. Now as you can see the plugin warns us, it says that if you put your integration token in this field it is a potential security risk and that you should use a credential ID instead. Now you can pick whichever one you like, both ways will work perfectly but I'm going to go for the more secure option and show you how that is done. So I'm going to cut my token here and I'm going to say add credentials. We're going to add credentials to the main Jenkins group and we're going to go to kind. We're going to select a secret text and we're going to paste our token into the secrets field. There we go. We're also going to give it an idea. We're going to say Jenkins Slack integration and we're going to say token to push notifications to Slack. We're going to give that as a description. We're going to click add. And now we're going to pick that token. And now the last thing that we need to do is we have to define to which channel that Jenkins should push notifications. So I'm going to say Jenkins should push it to the builds channel. So now that it's done, we can test our connection to Slack. There we go. It now says success. We can save the configuration. And now we can start sending notifications from Jenkins to our Slack channel.
So let's now use this integration. Let's open up the My Website project and let's configure it. Now to configure the Slack notifications, scroll down to the bottom until you see the section Post Build Actions. And here you can add the Slack notification action. Once you do that, you can choose which notifications to push to your Slack channel. So in this case, I want to notify my Slack channel whenever the build starts, whenever there's a failure, and let's say also whenever there is a success. And that's it. I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to trigger a new build and see if the integration works. Okay, so our build has just finished. Let's go to the Slack channel. Let's say that we got it. And there we go, the plugin has sent three messages to our Slack channel. The first one was to test its connection. Then the second one was to notify us that a build was started for the My Website project. And shortly thereafter, we've got a success message to say that our My Website project has successfully been built in 2.5 seconds. So that's it for this video. If you find this interesting, make sure to check out the rest of my Jenkins tutorials. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel or visit my website. And as always, thank you very much for watching.